What's up guys, this is Tabletop Vibes and we're taking a look at Proliferation by War Games. And as always, we want to thank our sponsor, Noble Knights Games, for sponsoring this video. Jason, what did you think? So this game is awesome if you take diplomacy and then you add in an economy and then you throw some nukes in. Blow it all up. <laughs> oh my god! That is kind of the gist of this game. So really cool, really fun, really enjoyed the theme. Yeah, and same. You know, I, I really like how they integrated all this together this is really yeah kind of it gave me a little twilight imperium feel oh uh, yeah because yeah. well they say speaker token like you're the speaker <laughs> the speaker also i feel like that we should have a gavel yeah oh yeah gavel would be great when we play it yeah. so you pass it around tush, the floor is now <laughs> open to war games exactly oh, like the movie yeah anyways i'm all over the place <laughs> so the gist of the game is going to be over the course of several turns which can which culminates in several rounds right so on your turn one person is going to be the speaker and they're the one with like all the power Yes. So what they're going to do basically is they're going to have an event. So they're going to read the event card and the event's going to be something like one nation gets some money or this happens to all people or there's some sort of reduction. You know, your typical global events. We like those. I love global yeah. events. They're fun. I always love event decks. <laughs> then the second one is you check for victory condition. The speaker right. checks for victory condition. And you have your prerequisites on your asymmetric cards for your nations of what yeah. you've taken to win. Nine nations too. Yes. Nine nations. Yeah, I like it. The third one is um, proliferation. Proliferation. There we yes. go. I got it. Nail it. And this is where if you have any face down nuke cards, they get flipped face up and they start priming. Armed. Yes, they get armed and start priming. The fourth is policy. That's the strongest Really quick, thing. the fun yep. part oh, is you don't have a, chance, a choice. Yes. They, it flips. You get the choice to who you want to nuke yep. and when to use them. But now the entire other nations yep. can see what your nukes do and how powerful they are and now you have painted the target exactly on your back exactly sorry continue so the fourth one is policy this is where the speaker has all their power they can buy yeah. basically anything they want from the market right the fifth is uh open floor the other nations get the scraps they can fight over the trade agreements the sixth is the collection where you gain money maybe maybe Maybe. It's a tough market out there for gaining money. And the seventh and final turn is Summit, and this is where you can choose to sanction oh, a man, nation. It's so good. Or clear the floor of some cards and get some new cards. Yeah. So that, that's the gist of it. That's the gist of it. Yeah. World domination. Yeah. Last nation standing. Yeah, absolutely. So I, what I really like about this, first of all, is the asymmetric abilities. I always yes. like asymmetric abilities on cards. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Each nation has their own EP amount, which mm -hmm. is. I think it's like economic points. Economic maybe? or energy points. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty much your currency in the game. Yep. And then your GDP, which is, your like, jo like George, uh, Jason told me, you got your income mm -hmm. and the EP is your bank. Yep. And so each round you're making, hopefully, because yep. there's, the collection doesn't always mean you collect. <laughs> exactly. And that's the second thing I really like about this game. Yeah. There are good things and there are bad things and there is RNG on the cards depending them. Right. And sometimes you're buying these bad things. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So I we played a four player game and I was super stoked. I was gonna buy my first mission and I flipped the mission over and it's like recycle. The mission was called recycle, which all it did was you recycle all the missions back into the mission deck. And right. that was it. Right. Or it could be even worse. It could be worse. You could buy a nuke. And that nuke could be a dud, or that nuke could backfire on your nation. Blows up on your own nation, because, you know, it's risky to develop a nuclear program. It, I mean, it's dangerous. <laughs> You're playing with fire. Exactly, exactly. So you got also lots of cards on this game. Who doesn't a like a lot of cards? So you got all your infrastructure cards, which is the crux of building up your economic engine. They're going right. to give you more GDP each term. You got your mission cards, and these are the gamble cards, as we found out. But these are going to give you basically some sort of, uh, as we saw, kind of these one-time effects yeah. that you can use whenever you want. Yeah, well, and then the cool other part is the mission cards have uh, certain specific times you can use it. Anytime, you can use it in the proliferation phase, you can use it in the, like, there's all different right. missions and when you can use them or not, which right. is great. Right. The other trade agreements, I like this the best. You so, did yes. nail it with your trade agreement. This is really where you can pair up with those other nations for that temporary alliance to really kind of say, yeah. you know, Let's help each other. But what I started to think about in the second layer deep of this game, I said, well, wait a minute. So one of these missions, no, sorry, one of the trade agreements allows you to push all your nukes onto oh, yeah. your partner. Right. Which then technically makes them a target. But so, yet you're arming them to go do bad things to your opponents right. for you. It 
that's where the diplomacy comes. That's where I was like, holy cow, this thing is just a lot. That's when you got to trust your trade agreement person or hope you trust them. <laughs> or, or you make them a target. Right, or you make them a target yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Well, and then the other thing, like I had, I was playing as Russia. Mm -hmm. So um, my ability was if I rolled a five or better, I could, if someone discarded a nuke from off of a defense system, because you have defenses, mm -hmm. um, I could then just draw a new nuke. Right. Into my, into my, uh, yeah. His nation. nation was all about nukes. Go figure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And there's like prerequisites on each nation of like what you have to hit hundred money. Mm -hmm. And mine was hundred money and have six nukes. Yeah. And that's, that's the, that's the peacetime victory condition. This is the peacetime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The wartime is just eliminated everybody. Well, and then the cool everybody thing else. too is, uh, what were the in infrastructure oh, cards? Okay. All have different names, uh, uranium, corn, mm -hmm. medical supplies, aircrafts. Uh, intelligence systems and then a lot of the trade agreements play off of those mm -hmm. so I had a trade agreement that if my um, person that I was going to trade with had uranium we can both take two more EP every round right and even the nuke cards they had a kind of cool flavor text on yeah. them because every nuke was a different name of a different nuke in history right and it gave you a little snippet of exactly kind of what that which was. I super appreciate because that's so, awesome so that was really good again that's just one more thing you could tell the developer really Put into this right. game to really get a complete package on this one. Yeah, I mean it was a it was a blast, and then like it can play up to six players. No, it can play more than that. It, it can eight. play eight or nine. Yeah, it's like eight, I think. I don't know. It's a lot of yeah. players, but like you would, we want to play yeah, with play a ton them. of people. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna shine even more. So we played four players. It's good, but like having even more people to like trade with yep. and conspire against slash blow up. Is going to be great. Right. And then there's also an expansion there that adds alliances. Yeah. So what this does, this pulls in all of the non-nuclear countries around the world. And they're they're pretty expensive they're to very get. Very expensive. But their abilities are really good. Yeah. Well, yeah. like we found though, like, yeah. um, as well as like your gener like it's a quick generation. Mm -hmm. Like because you as you being the speaker have power over what you're gonna buy first, pretty much for that entire round, and right. it doesn't refresh right. until it goes all the way around. No, it no. refreshes at the end yeah. of your speaker the turn. Your speaker turn. But you get the first come first, like you get to buy whatever you want or not. Right. And the trade agreements, right. And the yeah. yeah, and the, for the trade agreements and things too, which makes it so that you can kind of cherry pick, mm -hmm. well, if it comes up or not, and push your luck. I think it was a little bit of a push your luck right. with how much you're spending your EP oh. for. And it so. truly is an open floor phase because other players will can bid on those bid. Like, remainder trade agreements. Right. So some juicy ones can really get, and then you get even more negotiation with trying right. to, you know, if you take, if you else, take you're like, this, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll back you. Pick me, yep. right? I won't nuke you, or let's nuke Jason yep. and take out the U.S. and the U.K. With India and Russia. Right. But then what I try to do, and I don't know if Adam realized this, is I actually tried to bid up something that I didn't want. Right. In order to try to get them to spend more. I noticed. <laughs> and I wanted it anyways. But you can you can entrap people, though. Yeah. Or, or get entrapped because you bid high enough and then someone takes it because you don't want them to have EP, which is essentially their currency to buy other things in the game. Right. Like, it's just it's, like... It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Right? It's like, it's a ton of fun. I don't... Like we were like we were talking, you can you can just sit down and go for it. It's really not a hard teach. Mm. Like once you understand, mm -hmm. I mean, each person takes like the top from the bottom, which is a really good reference yeah, card. It's a reference card. Yep. It's a beautiful reference card. Um, and go for it. Yep. It's so, a good game. Yeah. Yeah. So we're excited to try with more people yep. and more world domination. So give it a like, subscribe, check it out. Could be for you guys. If you like world domination, you like player there's a ton of player interaction. Mm -hmm. And you like to be the biggest, baddest nation in the world. This is for you. So, as always, thanks for watching. We're Tabletop Vibes. We'll check you next time.